guys wanted to share with you what we have going on for these next three days. Uh, we are starting special effects makeup or stage makeup, either one of the two that you like to call it. Um, really quick, close to my table, uh, my t my on my teacher table next to my desk here, or tables I guess you can say, because technically it's not a desk. Um, I have the more expensive things, so I keep my eye on them. Uh, so I just put all the paint here. I do have these palettes uh, that the students um, have seen, so when I pull them out they're like, oh that's what this stuff they sell or see on uh, YouTube, and so the more expensive stuff, the palettes we have here of all the paint um, that students will be able to use. Uh, we are getting alcohol because these are alcohol activated and then we have just the regular paints that they could use um, and then some basic colors, clown white, some color wheels and such. So that's what we have on that table. We went ahead and opened the partition so we made a big room. We're joining all grade levels tomorrow and then we have our tables set up. We have the black roll of paper here that we're gonna cover the tables. That is essential because it gets crazy, crazy dirty. Um, so we do have to tend to that. Over here on this side, we do have hand sanitizer, foil, baby wipes, paper towels, toilet paper, spatula, sponges, cotton, Dixie cups, uh, Q-tips, brushes, and palettes for students to use. Um, have some product on that end and the bulk of the product is on this side. I have the most students so I have the most stuff and I spend the most time on special effects makeup. So here we have um, veins made out of um, a glue gun and a glue stick. So we did that project last year so the juniors this year know how to do that so that's out webbed fingers or putting fingers together. We have the tape for that. We have fish wire. They're gonna do stitching. We have white and black. This is just a thread. This is a hair extension thread. We do have um, these here for blisters, water bottle with water, final seal, spirit gum. We have remover, baby oil, Vaseline. If they're gonna cover eyebrows, we're gonna have these, these are not for like paper. These are specifically set a spot and set aside for using on the skin. Coffee ground, um, is it grinds or grounds? I think it's coffee grounds. The powder, this is the charred ash spirit gum that goes with the spirit gum remover. I have more but it's built out and so it's all messy. I gotta clean it up. Thick blood, which I ordered a big container of but Unfortunately, um, Amazon didn't have it, so that didn't come in. We have the spray blood, the liquid blood, then we have 3D gel. We have scar wax, uh, wrinkle stipple, and latex. Here we have table covering, and then we have the little, this is um, textured, so this is how they take the brushes and clean them with here next to the sink. We have our EPA down at the bottom. So. That is what we have for tomorrow. We went ahead and, let me show you here on the computer, just finished printing these. Um, and so I'm gonna take them home and cut them. Okay, these I got from Pinterest here. So these are it, I got these from Pinterest. And pretty much you can go to Google or wherever and you can pull these pictures and images up. For those that don't wanna do the blood and guts, we do have the animals, um, the gills for our uh, Houston Fashion Week. So we do have that um, bruising and scars and burning and broken bones and uh, bite marks and things of the sort. So we do have uh, these that are gonna be printed and they're gonna be scattered around the tables so that they can copycat one of those or if they have their own image they wanna pull up, they can do that as All right, well. and that's what we have for you guys today. So that's our setup. All these things we have collected over the years. Of course the makeup. The older things are these kinds of makeups. We have a lot of them, but um, these here I bought last year at Target, I believe so. It was the end of the year, and we use these just like a one day quick thing, so it's no biggie on that. All of these um, we do wipe with an alcohol wipe afterwards to clean them up, and we try our best not to double dip on any of the stuff. Um, things like this I ordered through Amazon, things like this I ordered through local stores, but most all stage makeup supplies, especially what we have back here. Um, 
I ordered through Amazon, uh, but actually there used to be, uh, Frankl's was a costume supply store and so I would get a lot of these things from there. But they are out of business, they, the owners retired, so um, now it's Amazon where I get the stuff from. Some of the things I do like the coffee and um, the glue, Vaseline from the dollar store and things like that, Walmart, but for the most part, uh, that's what we get, where we get those things from. And then of course that's my cabinet, which I've already gone through all of it, but that's where I store all of these things. All right, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on tomorrow's video that's gonna show you what we ended up doing with all this cool stuff.